Hey Kerbal Face friends, how is everybody doing? It's been a long time since I did one of these, but <clears throat> as I probably said a bunch of times before, I make videos when I have something to make videos about. If I'm either not playing Kerbal Space Program or playing Kerbal Space Program and doing the same crap, well then I don't play. Or, well, yeah, I do play, but I don't make any videos about it. So as you can see here, I'm landing a rather large plane. Actually, no, a rather small plane with a rather large engine. So I made a little, little tiny plane around one of these big fan jets. And uh, as some of you may know, this thing has thrust reverser. So I can just turn on the thrust reversing thingies and set it down. And boom, brakes. Now sometimes the engines doesn't, the engine um, doesn't spin down after you cut it and you have to like bounce the thrust reversing back and forth. But what I noticed while doing that is the thrust reversing seems very, very efficient. The majority of the power of the craft does go the opposite way. But then again, on this big, huge engine, how much use could I really put that to? So, or so I thought. Then I realized something that I hadn't seen at all before. And it is that the... Weasley has thrust reversing too. Now the plot thickens. Because that means, <coughs> excuse me, that I can make something like this with jet engines on the top and rocket engines on the bottom, which the jet engines are actually pushing down even though they're aiming up. This makes it pretty easy to make VTOLs like this. Um, the multitude of intakes has to do with the intakes working differently now, and they're really not working very well when the craft is static. So hovering is kind of a problem. Now, of course, in its natural state, this thing's engines are pushing down. Um, and I had run into stuff like this before. So to maintain realism and have power, costly fuel, and whatnot, I've been using fuel cells instead of thermovoltaics and solar panels a lot more. Because it's kind of how stuff really works. They have auxiliary power units and other things that generate power, but of course use fuel. And one trick that I developed ages ago is whenever I'm going to turn the lights on, I toggle the light switch to have the fuel cell turn on as well. Well, how difficult is it to toggle the stuff if we do the same thing? So now, the two things that I always do, which are turn on SAS and turn on the lights, also reverse the engines and turn on the... Um, fuel cell. So here we go. Now as usual, this thing has jets as well as um, rockets to keep it going. And now that I turn it on at full throttle, it looks really weird because the exhaust is going up. But it will actually push down and by toggling the rocket engines on and off, I'll keep it at a hover. There you go. It's like some kind of hovering choo-choo train. But it works, you know, you can drive it and you can fly it around. You can you know, do all the stuff you normally do with your VTOLs and other hovering crafts. Which is usually crash them, but... I have a nice size rockets down there, I could keep it going. So yeah, I'm pretty sure some of you will come up with some really imaginative ways to do this. Now that we could have a jet engine pulling up rather than pushing down. Oh, this also does all sorts of weirdness with the center of mass. Let me show you guys how. In a video ages ago you may have seen, I don't remember who it was, it was somebody showing us a trick where you can lower the center of mass of anything because when you put in a jet engine the center of mass is actually off towards the middle of the plane I'll watch the center of mass on this thing go. I'm putting something on top so you think it'd get heavier on top and the center of mass actually went down so now I have thing, uh, jet engines pulling up and lowering the center of mass making it by definition more stable so this is a great little cheat I'm gonna do some other stuff with this, but I'm sure it'll be fun. 
after I was done with that, I was thinking, well, what else do I need that's going to actually pull instead of push? So I said, let's just make a regular plane. Looks kind of like a like a prop plane. It's somewhere around here. There he is. So you can now make something like this. This is more than enough intake. Now this is a good amount of fuel. We got the cockpit. We just got some structural stuff. We got the wings. Simple. Very very simple. I'm sure I'll see some other ways in which people have cleverly used this design. Again, the same thing. I turn on this AS, and when I turn on the lights, the thrust is reversed, full throttle, and there we go. This one looks even weirder because the exhaust is coming out of the nose. And there we are. So something looks a bit more like a prop plane than. You know, like a functioning prop plane. Because you know a lot of things that cosmetically look like a prop plane but don't actually work. Like they're not actual single engine things. This, despite some exhaust weirdness, actually kind of flies like a prop plane. So that's pretty much it. That's kind of a short little video about this little weird trick I just discovered. I was going to actually try to make another video series. The video series I was going to make was going to be about Duna. So I was going to, or am going to, I don't know, something made up my mind. What I'm going to do, or what my plan is, is I'm going to go into the design, uh, construction, testing, and then deploying a mission to land on Duna and come back. And I was doing this just when the last patch hit. And holy did everything go belly up on me. Parachutes changed, now it's almost impossible to land on Duna with parachutes when before that was a big huge part of my plan. Arrow breaking and arrow capture changed because the heat is working different but not so much the heat, more the friction. I uh, before in whoa before in um whoa why am I going so fast? Alright oh, yeah. okay before there you go in um paths that I would have not died on or would have gotten captured or at least gotten some kind of stable orbit. Now um I end up um, just skipping off, like the friction of the atmosphere is way, way, way lower. I had to, you know, almost start from scratch. Even coming back from the moon was a little bit more challenging than I remember it being. So that's still in the works, but I kind of have to relearn how to do that. I wasn't that great at interplanetary stuff to begin with. I was always more the plane and atmospheric kind of guy. But yeah, I need to get back on that. So that's pretty much it. Sorry it's taking so long and Veos asked me a question and I forgot to answer. But I guess he'd ask me about what my next video was, so here it is. I have no idea when my next video will be. I keep playing Kerbal Space Program because I love the game, it's a great game. I just don't have as much commitment to making videos. I, I have absolutely no professional aspirations with anything to do with videos. I even like bought video editing software but I've been entirely too lazy to learn how to use it. I reactivated my EVE Online account, which I might have mentioned before. I'm now playing MechWarrior Online, which is amazing. Still playing tons of Dota 2. Um, Christmas Steam sale just went by, so guess what happened there. Um, probably my biggest purchase was Lords of the Fallen and uh, Wasteland 2. Two games that are taking up a lot of my time. So I will definitely... I mean, I'm not closing the channel down. Not that it's much of a channel, but... Uh, yeah, I don't. I'm not a a regular content creator. Content creation isn't my goal. It's just have fun making these videos, you know. So thank you guys for watching again. Every now and then I still get a new subscriber, and I'm wondering really how I haven't published a video in like months. So welcome all of you guys that just subscribed. Oh, and fly safe, unlike me. Ah, okay, there we go. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Run over here. Stop. Okay. Any questions, comments, anything that you want custom built? I haven't had a custom order in a while. 
um, meaning that one custom order that one time. But I, I will help people design or help people solve their design problems if they ask me. Definitely here for you guys for that. And yeah, I already said fly safe. So yeah, this is Ross signing off. Bye.